Hey, hey there, dude. Squad is so good here, begging you. Another video, and today we're gonna be serious. Now, the reason why I want to be serious today is because I've had this thing going around in my head, and I'm just like, well, a lot of people are gonna agree with this, but fandom wars, they're dumb. Like, I, I'm sorry, but like, I feel like people who participate in fandom wars are just major idiots. Now, yes, I will get some negative feedback from this video, but. I already know that that will be happening and I got notes I got stuff on my computer I got like I just got so much that I've been like seeing for the last few weeks um, with like fandom wars and I'm like are you guys really that pitiful when it comes to listening to music do you really make others feel low because this group is not the group that you listen to and they got something good happening are you really that salty about it like, ah, oh, it's just a big waste of time. Like, you're attacking another person, okay? You're attacking another person, another group. You're just, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh. I know I'm doing that now. Like, this is for a purpose. It's to try and get people to realize that they're idiots for doing fan wars, fandom wars, okay? It doesn't even matter what community, no matter what, fandom wars are stupid, but since I'm part of the K-pop community, all my evidence is part of the K-pop community. But fandom wars are just stupid. And you may not think this, but you're legit ruining the reputation of your group. Let's say, okay, this is gonna be probably a thing where you're like, oh, you're just calling us out because, blah, 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 blah. but armies, you you're kind of ruining the reputation for BTS. <laughs> same same with Onces, same with Blink, same with XOLs. Like all these big groups, since you guys got more people, it's just easier to notice that you're ruining the reputation of your group. Because when you are supporting that big group and you have stand, you're following them no matter what, and then you just start talking sh with another group. Oh. Oh man, that just, ah, oh, it hurts. It just hurts, because like, I can just see that the, the, the people that you look up to, the people you listen to, they, they don't want that. They just don't want that. They don't want you fighting against other groups, because most likely all the groups, all the groups probably got contacts with each other. Like they probably talk to each other. They probably go out drinking. They probably go out for meals. They're friends. Like they're all in this community together. They know the hardship that everyone has gone through and they're friends. Whilst the fans, they're like, uh, this should be winning. This should be not winning. You guys suck because they copy. Oh, don't get me started with copying. Holy crap. Instead of just saying they copied this, let's hate them. Just say, oh, yo, they may have got some inspiration from this group that's freaking awesome and like just, like you don't need to just always be attacking if someone has copied something okay okay and another thing you just don't care about the other people's feelings when you're attacking their group or and all that stuff because these people love this group to pieces and whilst you're going oh they're so terrible blah 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 you're hurting that person's feelings because they they love that group okay like you just don't realize what you're doing because you're just doing it because you see other people doing it and you're like oh i'll just attack them and say this and all that stuff like it's so stupid like it's a massive hate train like there's no love train in k-pop anymore it's not about listening to k-pop it's about what group can win it's about all that stuff basically just it's not about listening to music like, the, the fans have just changed it into more of a competitive thing. It's not a f video game. It's not a f tournament. It's music. You're listening to it. You're not attacking other people for their taste in music. You're not supposed to um, just be like, Oh, let's do this, do this, do this. Like, I say I'm going to stream this music video, but I'm just watching the music video because I love it. That's what I mean when I say I'm going to stream it. And once I've had enough of watching that music video for the day, which is maybe like five six times i'm just gonna go and watch another music video from another group that may have released something on the same day because it's a great music video it's a great song that's what i do but no people take it seriously they get five thousand devices and they try to just stream it on every single device saying we're gonna get them this win because they deserve it and the other groups don't deserve it but the other groups do deserve it and you're starting a war because of that it's stupid it's stupid I know I'm going off topic a lot, but like all this 
it just leads to the fact of fanboys. I listen to so many groups, but the two groups I love the most is Pristin and SF9. But because since they're my favourite, I'm not going to always just listen to them. I'm not going to always be praising them. Um, if they do something wrong, I will call out on it. If they do something amazing, I will support it. Like, and if a group, another group that I don't even listen to releases something on the same day as one of these two groups, and that song is better than one of those two groups, I, 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 I would listen to that song more. Like, I, I will support that other group as well because like that song is freaking amazing. I'm not gonna be like, oh, that's another group that that's not my my favorite one, so I'm not gonna listen to it. They don't deserve my views or anything like that because they might win against my favorite groups no i would not do that okay i would not do that if i like that song more i would listen to that song more and actually this is something that has happened to me um i'm still an army i still love bts but after some time with like all the armies attacking other people and attacking armies i i got some evidence i got some evidence of some armies attacking armies let me let me just show you this look at this let her be we don't need snakes like her in our fandom bts teach us to be good and polite and we'll be and we'll fight for right you did it great sis love you no, BTS did not teach you to be good and polite. Your parents taught you. Your teachers taught you. BTS also taught you, but they're not the only ones that taught you. And also, you're calling someone that's listening to their music a snake. I... You... <sighs> What's wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Are you, are, are you an idiot? Are you seriously an idiot? Saying, oh, oh. I just remembered this. When people say that they like EXO and they are uh, like a BTS fan, people kill that, well not kill that person, they attack that person saying, oh, you're not a real army. No, you are a real army. Okay, don't listen to those people. Because just because that person also listens to EXO does not mean that they hate BTS. I don't know what's with it with the BTS and EXO fans fighting each other, but both of those groups are freaking amazing. They make amazing songs. I love both of them so freaking much. Like, so freaking much. But then when the freaking fandoms start attacking, it makes me go away from the group. That's what happened with BTS. I freaking love listening to them. But now, after a certain amount of time, I can't listen to a certain song for that long. Like, now when it comes to fake love, I, I, I kind of get sick of it because it just makes me think of all the people that were just hating on me, hating on others, and it just, ah, oh, it just sucks, man. It just sucks. So that, that, that's what I hate. Like, people just attack you for listening to another group, which just makes no sense. And it makes the fan wars just, ah, oh, it just makes it, like, what's the point? What's the point? Like, why do you hate this group? Why do you hate this other group? It's really freaking annoying. And I've got another thing that I want to show you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure I got a link to it uh, in my in my um, thing. But if not, I'll just search it up. Here it is. I found it. I found it. It was it was there. 56,000 plus people are part of this anti-EXO group. What? What? What did EXO do to you? What did they do to you to be an anti-EXO? Like, what the hell? 56,000 plus. All you 56,000 plus people, if you somehow watch this video, let me know why you hate EXO. What did they do wrong to make you think that they're just utter trash? Let me know. Please, let me know. Just look at this. An anti-EXO group on Facebook where Indonesian armies post negative comments and hate messages towards EXO and EXO hours was easy to join before it was reported. The group had more than 56,000 members and published more than 200 posts every day. Entry to the group was easy with just three simple rules to follow. The first rule of the group is that its purpose is to eradicate the germs that are EXO and EXO hours. What did they do? What did they do? That's what I'm trying to th like. What, like, you're here to listen to music. What the hell did they do? Okay, I know that they, like, some EXO hours attack freaking armies. I know armies attack EXO hours. And, and like, I, what? What did the groups do to get you to hate each other? Is it because of the music shows? Is it because of, oh, you think that um, since BTS has gone to America, they're the very best and every other group is just worse. They're below them. They don't deserve any recognition. Like, what the hell is it? 
what like I know I'm going for uh, armies, XOs, XOLs, but there's there's other things that I saw that I got, and it's just so dumb. Like, what is the point? I just I just don't understand what the point is. Like, I've said that so much. You guys should realize by now that there's no freaking point in this. You're here to listen to music. That's all that it was before. Okay, that's all K-pop was before. Listen to the music. But no, it's not anymore. I'm sorry. What what is it now? Just attack other groups? Ah. How did I know? Because that's what everyone freaking does. Anyways, let's go back to reading this. Rule number two is that members must only discuss BTS. Why? What? Like, <laughs> like, look, look at this. Look at these comments. Look at these comments. Damn, how much free time do these people have? Gross. Can't believe 56,000 people went along with it. All those times wasted and could have been used to support their faves. Oh, this is disturbing. More mentality, my friends. Like, that is one of the things that I have. Okay, that is one of the things that I have for, like, the fan was Like, why? Why would you waste time hating on another group? I don't get it. Why? Why? Oh, this is a goodie. People use whatever chance they have to attack a group. Legit, the people who do that, they're supporting the group when hating them. You go to their MVs, you go to their tweets, you go to their Insta posts, you go anywhere just to leave a hate message. <sighs> Couldn't you be going to your faves? Go everywhere where your faves have been and leaving love messages? Couldn't you just not do that and hate another person? What What's the point in hating, man? Like, legit, what's the point of hating? Couldn't you just think like that for once, guys, instead of just being like, oh, they're our rivals, let's freaking destroy them. Come on, guys, come on, let's go destroy them, uh, Gucci. And now it's time to look at something else. International Blinks attack twice for covering Wonder Girls so hot. Why? Trice recently performed a cover of one girl's hit song So Hot and received a lot of backlash from Blinks for it. Mm -hmm. Members Jonghyun, Jihoo, Amina, Chaeyoung and Chui performed the song as part of the Music Bang's 20th anniversary show. Although the girls put on a great performance, fans noticed that there were a lot of negative comments on the video comparing them with the photo girl group Blackpink. That's another thing I don't understand. Why do you compare the groups? Like... Like, it, it, like, I'm just seeing this, and it's Blackpink wannabe. They're not wanting to copy Blackpink. They're doing a cover of So Hot Wonder Girls. And I'm pretty sure, um, did Blackpink also do a cover of So Hot Wonder Girls? I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure. I didn't read this. I just saw the title, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'll use this. But Blinks compared Twice's performance to Blackpink's rendition during the 2017 SBS Gay O Dejun, claiming that Twice was copying... Blackpink by also covering the song. What is wrong with people? Can't you just be like, whoa, they did such an awesome cover, just like Blackpink. Both these groups did an amazing job. But no, since you're a massive fan of this group, you will not support the other group that did a thing copying. Co How many people have covered Wonder Girls so hot? Probably, probably a lot of groups. Probably a lot of, like, what? Just because Twice is a big group and a lot of people, I don't know why a lot of people hate Twice. Twice are freaking amazing. The music is like, like why, why, why do you hate? I can't wait for Twice's comeback. Actually, now that I'm talking about Twice, but legit, why are you comparing? Why, why? It's just a waste of time. It's a waste of hate. You can just be like, yo, that's dope. Yo, oh, hell yeah. But while some immature Blinks continue to write hate comments, other Blinks have apologized for the in immaturity and clarified that the immature fans should not be attributed to Blackpink. Ah, do you know how sad that is? That you have other people in your fandom apologizing? Why can't the people who are immature apologize? Why, why don't they? Is it because they're just too high up in their heads? Like, they think that nothing is better? Like... Like, come on, man. Like, that's what we... The immature people, they just need to f stop being retards. I'm sorry, but they just do. Like, all I see from them is, oh, they're copying, they're copying. Oh, why are you listening to this? Like, why are you doing that? Why? I don't understand. It's like the same with everything. Oh, it's freaking dumb. And look at this. Earlier this month, International Blinks had come under fire for sending similar hate comments to twice as Chaeyoung for copying Lisa's style of hair. Oh my god! Can people not get the same haircut? 
Can people seriously not get the same haircut? Are you that retarded that you have to attack someone for getting the same haircut? Attack me for getting freaking frosted tips. Who else has frosted tips? I don't know, Justin Bieber. Attack me for having the same haircut as Justin Bieber. It's the fucking same thing, but no one fucking gives a shit. It's here. Why are you saying all this stuff? Really? Why are you like, the copying shit has to stop. The, it really has to stop. Someone has the same cap. Oh, they're copying. Oh, wait, no, they're not copying. Oh, they must be in love with each other. Oh my God. Like, you guys, you... <laughs> this is pissing me off so much. So much. I really hate fan wars. Such a waste of time. Like, this that you guys make up to attack the other group. Copying hairstyles, really. What's next? Oh, she's got the same shoes. Might as well send her a death threat. You're fucking retarded. And look at this. Just look at the title of this. Twice as haters have their own fandom name. You hate them that much that people have given you a fandom name? What the hell did they do wrong? And it's the same with Blackpink. There's one for Blackpink as well. If you scroll down, um, Blackpink's fandom name maybe blinks but according to some fans amateur fans can be i'm pretty sure it's called blonks and they there's also another one there's also another fandom name for haters for blackpink like are you that immature that you're hating on an entire group that much that you're getting a fandom name are you proud about that you got a fandom name by a group fans by the group fans that you hate congratulations you deserve everything that's what you would say to your favorite groups as well, um, but you won't say that to other groups, would you? Now, I saw this the other day, and it's another copying thing, and I'm like, this is just too good to put in to my video, and you guys want to see it? You guys want to see it? So just look at this. And Ad Adjase's, I'm not, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I can never pronounce that right. But they started a rib ribbon project for God's Heaven and some armies are outraged. So stealing our ribbon project is a thing now, how about you make your own project? Are you really that dumb? Couldn't you be like, holy crap, our idea of this ribbon project to protect our freaking favourites is being used by other groups. We must be doing some good stuff. We have inspired other people to protect their groups in this way. But no, you're attacking them for copying. You idiots. You could have made it so much better if you just said, Oh my god, they're using this. This is awesome. Armies, we're doing a great job. No, no, but you decide to f attack them. Oh, so dumb. Some people are just so dumb. When God7 arrived in Canada recently, Ajaste has greeted them by creating a safe perimeter of green ribbons to help them make their way out of this airport and armies are outraged because it was BTS fandom's idea first. When BTS arrived in Los Angeles earlier this year, fans put together a purple ribbon project where they held purple ribbons across the crowds as barricades for BTS to walk through. Other fans who weren't in the front row to hold the ribbon wore purple ribbons to show support. See, that's cool. That is cool. BTS was so impressed, they spoke about it in an interview with Hollywood Access, which is freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. So freaking awesome. And then what happens? I'm pretty sure ARMY's Attack Got 7 fans are just as for <laughs> using the same idea because they were inspired by it. Yes. I, when I read this, I was like, it's too good. People were so dumb that they would attack over being inspired by another fandom. So I made a couple posts, and I um, asked people, you know, what are your thoughts on Fandom Wars? And this is what some people said. Uh, but actually, this is basically everyone, like, no one really checks out the community tab, which is annoying. But this person said, I really hate it, and I think it's so childish, which I agree. It, it's so childish, so immature. I know that I'm being, like, kind of, well, I am being immature in this video, but I'm trying to get people to realise that it's just a waste of time and they're idiots if they participate in a fandom war. Okay, that's what I'm trying to get through. Um, and then this person said, can't they just enjoy the music? Oh, yes! 
Why can't they enjoy the music? I'm a multi fandom fan. I really hate when fandom wars happen. Oh, a thing. And, and, and I'll continue reading this, but this is a quick thing I want to say. What's worth people hating on multi fandom people? Like, oh, you're not loyal to your group. Fuck off. Anyways, uh, sometimes it's just a small issue, but they make it big. Uh, those fans should learn to respect other people because fans reflect their idols. Anyway, if I see fandom wars, I never participate in it because it's a waste of time. Yes. Anyways, next one. I hate fandom wars. Fandom wars are like toxic poison. All they do is hurt K-pop community between the two groups or more. Why can't fans like more than one group? It is like a big crime being multi-fandom. Oh, fuck. There was read more. Gotta go to my homepage. <laughs> I got all this saved in my Twitter messages. Um, oh, this is a new, so, oh, uh, oh, this is a new one, this, two hours ago. Some idols are friends, so it is pretty disrespectful when people argue over who's better. If they can be friends, then the fans should be able to be friends too. They should! But it's a shame that the immature fans are just all about winning and not about listening to the music, um, and being friendly, so that sucks. But. That should be true. I hate Phantom Wars. Phantom Wars are like toxic poison. All they do is hurt K-pop com community between two groups or more. Why can't fans like more than one group? It is like a crime being multi-fandom. All I'm going to say is this. We need to respect one another at the end of the day. We listen to K-pop music because we enjoy it. Phantom Wars are pointless. Yes! Phantom Wars are pointless. Waste the time. Such a waste of time. Okay, I got one more thing to show you guys, and then I'll basically be ending this video. Um, so if you've made it up to this point, thank you uh, for watching. Uh, definitely share this video around, um, because I think we need more people to realize how freaking dumb... Oh, okay, that's going to sound... Bad. This is gonna sound bad, but how dumb they are for participating in fandom wars or attacking other groups. They just gotta realize that it's not about winning, and you gotta stop being immature. Um, so definitely share this around. And if you ever see a fandom war, just send them this video because it's just me hating on them, basically. So if you if you've been sent this video because of you're participating in a fandom war and saying some mean stuff to another group, fuck you. Anyway, so this is what I wanted to show. So, Doo 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 by Blackpink now has over 100 million views on YouTube. It achieved this in just over 10 days, making it one of the fastest videos in history to reach this milestone. And then one of the replies is ended BTS. Why is it that the first thing you think of is that this achievement, they were one of the first, or one of the fastest, I mean, to reach 100 million views? Why is it that instead of congratulating them, you say they ended BTS? Which they didn't, because BTS, they, they, they got it faster. I'm pretty sure they got it in eight, nine days, I think. At least this person realized that at least he tried attacking us. But, like, why did that person think of ending BTS? Really? Like, you could have just said congratulations to Blackpink. But, no, you said ended BTS. Anyways, that is basically all for this video. I know it is a long ranty video and I am somewhat sorry about that But I just needed to get this all off my chest. I need I, I hope people like agree with what I've said I know some of it is a bit like, bashful and all, and all that stuff But people just need to get it in their heads that fandom wars they are useless They are dumb people who participate in them are dumb and all that stuff. Okay all that like it's just a waste of time just support your faves, don't attack others, just, like, like, the stuff that I said, instead of being like, oh, you copied us, be like, oh, they were inspired by us, or they may have, they may have have been inspired by us, you can at least just say that, but no, no, it's, um, they copied us. But, uh, yeah, other than that, that's basically gonna be all for this video, hope you guys did enjoy, or not, I don't know if you guys will enjoy this or not, because it's the serious side of me. Like, this is probably the only time there's going to be a full-on serious video kind of like this. Um, so yeah, uh, uh, leave a like if you like this. Uh, comment down below the hate that you're going to have towards me. Comment down below the stuff that you agree with with me, the stuff that you don't agree with with me. Um, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel because there will be some K-pop reactions. And also a G-Idol unboxing video. I'm not sure if it's coming out before this or after this. I still got to edit it. Um, but uh, I kind of want to try and get this edited fast uh, So that will probably come out after this So subscribe if you want to see that And uh, yeah, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day And just keep on smiling And I'll be your squad